Hello everyone and happy Tuesday. I hope that everyone is staying safe in this crazy time, but whatever your troubles may be, I encourage you to just stop and take a minute to open your heart to the word of our wonderful and glorious Savior. Today we're going to be reading a short passage out of Revelation chapter 1. I encourage you to open up your Bibles and follow along with me as we read Revelation 1 verses 16 through 18. In his right hand he held seven stars, from his mouth came a sharp two-edged sword, and his face was like the sun shining in full strength. When I saw him, I fell at his feet as though dead, but he laid his right hand on me, saying, Fear not, I am the first and the last and the living one. I died, and behold, I am alive forevermore, and I have the keys of death in Hades. Revelation was written for a church that was in chaos and uncertainty, and they were off, often persecuted just for their faith in Jesus. But it was also a book of worship that can help them when they were struggling the most. Um, sometimes it might seem difficult for us to encourage worship, especially right now, because we are also in a season of struggle and uncertainty. In verse 16, it says, From his mouth came a sharp two-edged sword, and his face was like the sun shining in full strength. This shows us that there is no weapon and no evil that will ever be greater than our God. He reigns over absolutely everything, and Jesus has the whole world in his hands. Nothing will ever be able to stop God from loving and protecting us. He shines through everything. He's the light to our darkness. I find that so comforting, especially in this time of crisis, this worldwide pandemic that just seems like it might never end, but one day it will, and we're going to get to spend that time with the people we love so dearly, and we can finally get to hug them and see them and spend time with them. Fear not, I am the first and the last and the living one. I died, and behold, I am alive forevermore, and I have the keys of death in Hades. Jesus will always be number one. He's the first and the last. He died on the cross to save us from our sins because he loves us that much. We get to spend the rest of eternity in heaven with him because he loved us that much. He holds the keys of death because he conquered death. That's crazy. We can think of such an uplifting passage right now because we need that reassurance that COVID-19 is going to end. And when it does, God is going to be there. He's going to be standing by our sides, protecting us and letting us heal from such a scary and frightening time. We can find comfort in knowing that he has the whole world in his hands. So if we do truly believe that Jesus holds the whole world in his hands and even holds the keys of de to death and the way to heaven, how does this principle cause us to join in the choruses of worship throughout Revelation? I encourage you to read through Re Revelation and see how wonderful and powerful our God is. We see the complete destruction of all sin. All that will be left when Jesus comes back is complete and utter perfection. Every sin, every mistake, every struggle, and every disease will be wiped from the earth. All that we will see is the love of God and just it will all go away. The third verse of Revelation chapter 1 says this, Blessed is the one who reads aloud the words of this prophecy, and blessed are those who hear and who keep what is written in it, for the time is near. This is telling us that we are blessed just by hearing the wonderful word of our God. He is so great and so glorious, and each one of us should welcome him into our hearts and accept that we are loved beyond measure. Thank you for joining me in today's daily devotion, and I hope to see each and every one of you guys very soon. I miss the joy and happiness that I get when we're singing together in church, and I miss everybody, and I hope that you're all staying safe in this time. Thank you.